All right, today we're going to talk about mapping our flight controls, our control schemes, and how to take off land from a hover. We'll start by going to the options menu, controls. We're going to map our symbology select up, symbology select down switches. For my HOTAS Warthog, I have that on the DMS up and DMS down um, positions on, on my stick. For force trim hold mode switch, I have this mapped to my CMS switch. So force trim up is forward on the CMS, right is right, down is aft on the CMS switch, and left is left. And I'll talk about what all these do here in a minute. When I go to add, when I'm done with that, we're going to go to add-on options. We're going to go to H64D official. We have HOTAS keyboard and mouse. If you are a mouse and keyboard user, use one of these options. Um, if you like to use the mouse as your cyclic, then you can select mouse, which then allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the uh, mouse input using the slider here. Uh, when you're in keyboard, this slider doesn't do anything for you. Both mouse and keyboard disable the yaw effect that um, on the helicopter, so when you increase the collective, the nose is going to want to go to the right, um, requiring left pedal. That's disabled with uh, mouse and keyboard. Two other options here. What these options are for are for individuals with um, springless joysticks and pedals. So if your cyclic maintains its position when you let go of it, like your physical input device does that, then these options are for you because um, you don't need the force trim at that point because your physical um, input device is going to be maintaining the same position uh, the entire time. Uh, additionally, this is for keyboard users. What this does is as you, and it's only for pitch, so as you apply forward cyclic, what it's going to do is it's just going to hold whatever the last, um, the last pitch position was. Like, it's, it, it just holds that position there. So it's experimental. We're not entirely happy with it. Um, you can try it. Tell us what you like about it, what you don't like about it, but uh, that's also an option there. It just makes it a little bit easier um, to maintain a pitch attitude in forward flight because when you stop holding down the key, it stops making an input for you. Um, or not making an input, but it stops capturing the input, I should say. All right, so with all that done, we'll come back into the crew station here. So symbology select switch, uh, when you go up, it cycles between the crews and the transition symbology. Crew, uh, transition symbology is just the horizon line with the waypoint status window in the bottom left. Right now we're um, 1.4 kilometers away from waypoint one is what that's telling me. And we're moving um, at zero knots ground speed. When I go up to the cruise symbology, it adds the pitch ladder, MSL altitude in the upper right hand corner of the display. Um, and yeah, that's really about it. And you just can cycle back and forth up, 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 and it'll just keep cycling between transition and cruise. Hover symbology is um, selected by going symbology select down. We lose the waypoint status window and the horizon line, so that's how we know we're in the hover symbology. And then when I go down again, that'll put me in the bob-up symbology, which adds this box, which is a 12 square foot box, and anytime it reaches the edge of the display, you will have moved 40, foot, um, 40 feet from where you originally dropped that box. So we'll just go up to hover there. Now, the uh, force trim hold mode switch, those four positions, if you go up um, on that switch, what it does is it interrupts the force trim, which will disable heading hold, which will disable um, position hold, and it'll, well, really, that's it. It'll just disable those two. If you go to the left, it'll activate the attitude hold, which has three submodes, position, velocity, and attitude, and we'll cover those all at another point. Um, and if you go to the right, it'll engage the altitude hold, which has either a radar altitude hold or a barometric altitude hold, depending on um, conditions in the aircraft and logic in the aircraft. Now, before we begin, we want to go to a perf page, which I already have up here conveniently, and we want to note what our hover power is going to be at five feet, so that's 84% torque. We also want to know whether or not we have OGE power, um, so we can confirm that by looking at our required in-ground effect hover power and comparing it to our uh, go no go OGE hover power, uh, which is 83%. 84 is greater than 83, that means I don't have OGE power. I also know I don't have OGE power because my required out of ground effect torque is 106%, <clears throat> excuse me, is 106%, and that exceeds 
my transmission limit of 100%. Excuse me. Um, additionally, I can tell that I don't have OG power because my current aircraft gross weight exceeds my maximum allowable gross weight, OGE. So all of those are indicators that tell me I don't have OGE power. So I'd have to reduce weight on the aircraft in the form of fuel or ammunition. All right, to take off, we're going to press and hold the force trim interrupted, so that's the up position. We're going to increase the collective. We're going to apply left pedal. And we're just going to keep bringing the aircraft on up. There we go. Aircraft has broken contact with the ground. Let's get the aircraft stable. Stop drifting. There we go. All right. Release the force trim. And then, let's see, get our stable trim. This is being difficult for me today here. Um, but once you're up at the hover, it's just, you can just click interrupt the force trim just to kind of update the position and make it, uh, make it a little bit easier to maintain your position. There we go. All right, once everything is stable, we can then bring on the attitude hold, which will put us into position hold, and the aircraft is going to start working on trying to stop drifting. And then we can also bring on the altitude hold. So now, I'm hands off the flight controls. The position hold is slowly getting us stopped. We may have to help it out just a little bit with a little bit of aft cyclic here. There we go. And we are hovering at 84%. So we have validated our perf page and know that it is accurate. Now, if I want to come up to um, an OG hover insofar as I can, then I'm just going to increase the collective. It'll automatically disengage the altitude hold. That's normal. And I'll just pull in 100% and see where it gets us. And it stops us around 33 feet. All right, cool. Now, you're not going to be able to re-engage the altitude hold because we're greater than 98% torque dual engine. Um, so, you know, it, it's just one of, the, one of the quirks of the system. You're not allowed to do it because it doesn't want you to potentially over-torque and damage the helicopter. All right. We can see that we're only at 32 feet at 100% torque because... Um, that's all ground effect allows for right now. So now I'm going to just reduce the collective, come on back down. I'll just bring it down to 85% or so. And we should stop automatically. And we do. There's ground effect helping us out. Kind of cool. All right, now we need to land. So to land, we're going to press and hold the force trim. Now before we do that, I want you to be aware that... Um, you may get a little bit of yaw instability when you do that. It's just kind of one of the things um, that we kind of have to deal with because our physical pedals are not actually in um, in sync with the uh, with where the force trim thinks the the pedals are. Right, so just be aware of that and be prepared for it. So I'm going to land the helicopter now. So to land, we're just going to um, press and hold that force trim. See that little yaw instability right there what I'm talking about. Press and hold the force trim, and now I'm just going to reduce the collective, allow the aircraft to settle, maintain my position, just bring the aircraft on down, bring the aircraft on down. I'm on the ground, reduce the collective to full down position, release the force trim, and we are on the ground and complete. That's it for this video. Have a good one.